Hello and welcome back for part 9 of Castle Broken Head Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Uh, to start off, I want to apologize for the cursor in the middle of my screen during the entire last video. That was uh, pretty amateurish on my part. Uh, last time we went on a little treasure hunt and got ourselves a pocket full of sadness, then found Garen's grave. Today, we are going to go into the grave, seeking out the second MacGuffin, otherwise known as the Silver Harp. Now, let's get a little light in here. Uh, today's episode might run a bit long. I am going to do the full cave, including the dead ends. We do need to gain some levels, so why not? I'm also going to teach you my trick for exploring unfamiliar caves in Dragon Quest games. I'm also apparently going to continue to miss hitting the skeleton. Um, basically what I do is from the entrance of a cave, I will generally, at the first choice of directions, go left. Alright, Poltergeist we face. There are a few new monsters in here, uh, so bear with me. I'm going to be referring to my notes here to try to make sure uh, not to miss any for you. As I was saying, though, one of the things I do uh, when I'm approaching an unfamiliar cave is when I reach my first junction, I go left, and I continue to go left at every turn uh, until I either get back where I started or have explored the entirety of the cave. Uh, today we will be exploring the entirety of the cave, dead ends and all. And I guess the only real reason for that is just so that I can show you the whole thing. Um, unlike the following Dragon Quest games that came after, uh, you can't really get a good view of everything. Uh, this is the only Dragon Quest game that uses this light mechanic in the dungeons. Alright, you can see there's some treasure chests there that we want to get to. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Nothing exciting. Um, one thing I'll tell you is that is that in this game, treasure is not very good. Uh, you only get a couple of good treasures the entire game. Uh, there are a series of dead ends to our left there that I am going to bypass just because we don't really need to just walk in a circle for the sake of walking in a circle. Uh, we'll be doing that on the next floor. coming in the near future. Um, I think after uh, we have completed Garen's grave, 
since we are going to be in the coal area anyways to trade uh, the MacGuffin for the MacGuffin, uh, the Silver Harp for the Staff of Rain, uh, I will show you guys what the Silver Harp does, because it's not a completely useless item. Uh, as we've seen people say, it does actually uh, summon monsters. It basically uh, summons forward the near whatever kind of monster uh, frequents the area. So, I mean, it's not the most useful item, but it's not the most useless item in the game either. See, this staircase here just leads to that dead end on the bottom floor. Uh, you can see that bottom floor is where we've got the uh, more difficult monsters. Uh, the Wolf Lord being one that we faced uh, quite successfully in the Romaldar area. Uh, so there's no real concern uh, with fighting any of the monsters in this area, to be honest. Uh, the biggest thing is going to be trying to not run out of magic, uh, fighting warlocks. Right, let's take a quick look here. Uh, we actually want to go down here for now. This is basically the treasure floor. Alright, we have a new monster, the Druin Lord. Uh, they have 35 hit points, uh, their attack is 47, defense 40, speed 240, uh, they can give up to 85 gold, and they give 20 experience, they can cast hurt, and that's all they can do. Um, they're basically just a druin with some light casting, and more hit points. Slightly different color. Not the most original, uh, but that's actually fairly impressive still for an 8-bit system. Alright, another new monster, we have the Spectre, and the Spectre has 36 hit points, attack 40, defense 38, speed 49, can give up to 70 gold, and they give 18 experience. They can cast Hurt, but also Sleep. So we want to use Stop Spell on the Spectre. Because uh, as you know, the only way we're really going to have any trouble uh, or be at risk of dying is if we are put to sleep. Uh, because that really is what gets you when you can fight back. Okay, I was not expecting this. It was not in my notes. Uh, we have the Wraith Knight. Wraith Knights are very similar to the Wraith we faced before, but much stronger. Uh, they have 46 hit points. Their attack is 68. That broadsword that they're holding is not just for show. Defense is 56, speed of 80. They can give up to 120 gold, and they give 28 experience, just like their uh, less powerful Wraith counterparts. They can heal themselves. So now, we have a real fight on our hands. Look at that, he's doing 10 damage. 11 damage. We better hope that we just killed him. Woohoo, that was close. Uh, this is why we packed the herbs in our herd. Uh, bag. Well, actually, I did not recall that they were down here, and my notes uh, do not have them listed for this area. So that was uh, a surprise for me, folks. Oh, 
Alright, and we are now coming up on our fourth treasure chest. Ah, you see, it was a good idea to stop spelling. Uh, make use of your status spells in this game. Uh, it may not seem like it, but uh, it's a good bet. Alright, so we are going to drop the torch to take the cursed belt, uh, just because I would like to show it to you guys later. Uh, what I told you about disappointing treasure proves true yet again. Uh, the cursed belt, it curses you. That's all it does. Uh, then you gotta go to that guy who says to go to him if you're ever cursed. It's literally the only way in this entire game that you can get cursed is to wear the cursed belt. Uh, we better heal ourselves because he keeps healing himself. Wow, I am not doing well in this fight. That, folks, is what we call me getting my ass handed to me. Holy shit, that hurt. At least it's just a wolf lord this time. Um, I may actually run if I encounter another wraith tonight. I do not want to fight another one of those. Um, they just do too much damage. Alright, so we are back up on the floor we were before. Um, if you remember when... Oh, here, I'll throw on some more light. Uh, we started over to the right. Uh, that's where the, was the two staircases right next to each other. It's almost a relief to be fighting a wolf. Alright, I'm actually going to walk around a little bit on this floor. Um, I don't need to grind for the experience. Uh, I honestly, I just want to regain the health without using any of my magic. So I will meet you back at this staircase in just a minute. All right, and welcome back. That took uh, a little longer than I expected. I got put to sleep a couple times. Uh, but if you recall, we have that magic armor, so I just used it to walk around and uh, regenerate some health. You'll see my magic is lower. Uh, due to a stop spell usage, and uh, I had to use the Radiant spell uh, to get the light back. So, we can now finally go down this staircase, which we're going to go up now. I'm going to try to spend as little time as I can on this floor. Um, but there were a couple more monsters I wanted to show off. Uh, the Droll Magi being one of them. Uh, here, it's just like the Droll, but with magic. Uh, he has 38 hit points, 52 attack, 50 defense, 34 speed. He can give up to 90 gold. He gives 22 experience. And here's the real kicker. He can cast, heal, hurt, and stop spell. So we definitely want to hit this guy with the stop spell right away. We do not want to have to spend forever fighting him. Uh, especially if he takes away our ability to heal ourselves. Oh, 
Alright, the Druin Lord's not so bad. We can handle this in here. Flat out need him to be blocked at all times. As we descend into the sub basement, all right, this room will have a high encounter rate of the higher tier monsters. So we want to get through quickly. Well, at least he's wasting his magic healing himself instead of using hurt on us. You can see that experience climbing quite a bit. All right, we are going to run away from him. Uh, if that hadn't worked... I was going to put him to sleep and then run away from him. Uh, which is sometimes the best way to escape a monster, to be honest. And what have we here? Could it be? Now, we need to use an item. It is the second MacGuffin. something away. So, it is going to be the fairy water. Alright, we now have the silver harp, and that's going to do it for us today. Uh, so, next time, uh, I'm actually going to uh, have you rejoin me back at Cole. Uh, I will demonstrate uh, the use of the silver harp uh, after that, we are going to go continue uh, the Trials of the Five MacGuffins as we trade the second MacGuffin for the third MacGuffin, uh, which isn't even usable. Uh, and then we're going to take a little trip to the shrine and see what that guy has to tell us. And uh, I guess we'll just take it from there, see what happens. Uh, it's going to be just, uh, you know, a nice afternoon stroll, I think. Uh, so until next time, stay frosty, everyone.